Good afternoon. That bill drew a huge crowd at the Roundhouse today as lawmakers consider banning all animal trapping on public lands. Critics claim it's inhumane and both legal and illegal traps are injuring pets and people. Rachel Knapp has both sides. The Early Morning's House Energy, Environment and Natural Resources Committee was packed. All to hear about House Bill 366, which would make it illegal to trap, snare or poison wildlife on public lands. This bill is a useful and humane management of wildlife and protection of pets and people enjoying New Mexico's public lands from unnecessary and accidental suffering, injury, and deaths. The bill is sponsored by Democrats Christine Chandler, Bobby Gonzalez, and the committee's chair, Matthew McQueen. And when they asked who wanted to speak, nearly every hand went up. There is no shortage of people wanting to say their piece on this bill. It took nearly three hours for public comment to finish. The traps and snares um, are tools and they're used to manage part of the state's wildlife. People against the bill say trapping helps with wildlife overpopulation and it has a historical, cultural and economic impact for New Mexicans. So I live, I work, I raise a beautiful family that supports my trapping heritage and my trapping beliefs. My father's 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 have been trapping before there was a state capital. But backers of the bill claim traps are not selective and harm domestic animals and even people out on a hike. I support this bill because it will allay the fear of myself and others stepping in a lake hole trap. When there's traps everywhere killing God's creations that we value and we cherish and are important for the ecosystem, that impacts our ability to enjoy our public land. Public comment took so long this morning, committee members didn't even get a chance to talk about the bill. They'll do that on Saturday. Rachel Knapp, KRQE News 13. If passed, the penalty for illegal trapping would be up to six months in jail and fines that start at $500 for a first offense.